Okay. Let's go. Here I am in my new big boy car. Welcome to my ID4. We are going to do a short trip uh, to Electri America to get to see how fast it charges on this rather chilly day. It's 36 degrees out. Got 52 miles. Um, predicted range 23% state of charge, and I've got to go about 30 miles. So we'll be dang low when we get there. Uh, I don't know how warm the battery pack will be after a 30 minute drive on the highway, but hopefully warm enough to give us good speeds. So I've been stuck in a 50 kilowatt land with my Chevy Bolts for the past three years. So I'm looking forward to getting some more modern charge speeds. You know, one thing I would expect the internal nav of this to be able to do is when I call up nav, maybe it should take a gander at my state of charge and go, oh, he's only got 49 miles and he hasn't told me where we're going. I probably ought to show him some Electrify America stations. The next stopover is on the limited access road. Your route has a necessary charging stop. So what just happened there was the car did do what, what I had said it should. It prompted, it said, uh, it noticed my low state of charge and that I was on a highway, that I was going fast on a highway. And it popped up a thing, it said, you should charge your battery soon. Would you like to search for charging stations? Up a list of one, and it was the Electrify America station that I'm already heading towards. So I said, Yes, take me there. So now we do have the NAV program to go to Electrify America. Okay, let's go see what we can do. Stop has two rows of four chargers. Only two of them are 350s though. It's a big old Walmart. Okay, let's see.
360. Plug in first, it'd say. There's the good sound. Got a green light on the charge port. Sixty-eight, seventy-one, eighty-two, eighty-five, ninety-two. One out. One ten. One eighteen. One twenty-five. One thirty-two. One forty. Oh, 132, 135. 133. Well, that's pretty stout for a start. I'll bet that could go higher as we sit here for a while. Let's get back in the car. So that's a little, that's obviously wrong. End, 7.19 p.m. We're putting 140 kilowatts into the pack. It is 430. It is not going to take three, almost three hours to get to 80% charge. So I don't know what that end 720 p.m. is all about. But it is quite fundamentally wrong. So yeah, real happy with these speeds and these temperatures. 40 degrees out kind of a relatively short drive to get here stop and go even though it was highway and oh it's over one for 140 this is amazing oh the end now says 705 p.m. it should say 5 p.m. because <laughs> there's no way even if this charge curve goes all the way down to 75 or something it's it's gonna be done and less than half an hour absolutely okay checking in at 38 percent right before 30 percent it flirted with 160 kilowatts very briefly then hung up around in the 150s until about 35 percent and it's been ticking down since still predicting two more hours till we're at 80 percent which is Patently ridiculous. So, really have no idea what that strange calculation is. <laughs> Nothing. One moment, please. Checking on how to do nothing. Please repeat. Cancel. Cancel. Okay, looks like we're about to get to about 50%. We're also about to cross under that 100 kilowatt threshold about the same time, it looks like. 50. 199. Now it's sticking on 99. Yep. At any rate, well, check in again at 75% and see what the taper is like. Okay, at 75%, it's still doing 85 kilowatt hours. It's been hanging around there for most of the time after um, dropping down after 50%. So it's kind of like it ramped down and then shelved again, uh, which is really great. And, you know, we're a couple minutes away. Again, look, it says end 517. That's, um, so it's, you know, it's getting closer to reality. But it's going to be done in three minutes. It's not going to be another 20 minutes. So I don't know how this thing does math, but it's pretty bad at it. 
So yeah, we're just over 30 minutes. Um, so our, the free part of our charging session is over now. So probably get charged for about, I don't know, somewhere between four and six kilowatts of this charge session. Did it just tick up the end time from 5.17 to 5.18? Wow. Some serious drugs. It must, I don't know. All I can imagine is that it's basing, for some reason, it's basing the end at 100% charge or something. Oh, 5.02. So it just came to its senses and <laughs> realized we're within minutes of uh, completing the charge. We're so close. 80%. Charging successful. Awesome. Okay, so the completed figures are went from 9% to 80% charge in 32 minutes. And the uh, station didn't charge me anything at all. So really good. Quite happy with that. Um, thinking back to the Bolt, I've had similar, well, I've had charging experiences from like 10 to 80% that took under an hour. So that particular isn't that big a difference between the that and this much bigger car charging up to three times as fast. Um, is that worth all the extra money to get a 50 kilowatt charging vehicle versus a 150 kilowatt charging vehicle? I think that depends on how often you travel um, and how far you travel. If you're going to do routinely go over, make two, need to make two or three charge stops a day for journeys, you're definitely going to appreciate the faster charging rates. But if you really only are making one stop a day, the difference between half an hour and 45 minutes I don't think it should matter. So I don't think the Bolt at 50 kilowatts should be discounted as not road trippable. I've always felt that way. And now that I've been blessed with getting a vehicle that can charge at 150, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not suddenly going to decide that the Bolt was unacceptable. It's just not. Um, I think anybody who gets a Bolt is going to be perfectly happy with it. And I think even if they road trip, they are not going to be miserable. They are going to stop for longer than other people, but they won't stop necessarily more often because it's pretty dang efficient. So, but this is about the ID4, not the Bolt. And this first um, foray and from a low state of charge to 80% has been very good. Uh, at 42 degrees, so it's relatively cool. And we got some single-digit temperatures coming up this week. Uh, so maybe next week, between Christmas and New Year's, we'll try some sub-zero or sub-freezing temperature charging sessions. All right. That's enough for now. Bye now.